Doesn't matter if everyone knows whose hands it's supposed to be in. Magic happens when magic happens, and we've seen it a lot with Caitlin Clark. Yeah. And a legendary Hey, y'all. Let's talk about the fever pitch around Caitlin Clark. And I don't mean Indiana fever, though she's tearing it up for them. This WNBA rookie sensation has been setting the court on fire, and now she's just been named an all-star, leading the vote count. Can you believe it? Over 700,000 votes, and no one else even came close. Her teammate, Aaliyah Boston, bagged the second spot with 618,680 votes. And let's not forget Las Vegas Aces Aja Wilson, who came in third with 607,300. Clark is averaging 16.2 points and 6.9 assists per game. Yeah, you heard that right. She's leading the rookies in both categories. Overall, she's sitting pretty at third in assists and 16th in points per game. But it ain't just about the stats. It's her whole vibe, her energy, and how she electrifies the game every time she hits the court. Not only did she snag an all-star spot, but she's also teaming up with her longtime rival, Angel Reese. Reese just broke the league's all-time record for most consecutive double-doubles with 10. Girls a beast, leading the WNBA with 11.8 boards a game. And she's one of only four players pulling off a double-double average this season. Talk about ballin'. But hold up, the story gets better. Just after the WNBA All-Star rankings, the Las Vegas Aces just extended their winning streak to five games, taking down the Indiana Fever 88-69 in front of a record-breaking 20,366 fans at T-Mobile Arena. That's not just any crowd. It's the most attended WNBA game in 25 years and the fifth largest of all time. These ladies are changing the game, literally. Clark had a bit of a rough start against the Aces back in May, scoring just eight points with seven assists and five rebounds. The Fever were led by Kelsey Mitchell, who dropped 16 points, but it wasn't enough to stop Aja Wilson and her squad. Wilson racked up 29 points and 15 rebounds in that game. The Aces bench with players like Jackie Young and Kelsey Plum brought their A game and Clark found herself struggling to keep up. But that's the thing about Clark. She learns, adapts, and comes back stronger. In their second matchup, the Fever couldn't quite turn the tide, but Clark's resilience and spirit shone through. This kid has heart, and every game she's out there, she's proving why she's not just a rookie, but a force to be reckoned with. While the rivalry talk is spicy and we're talking about the Aces and the Fever, the real kicker is the bond and friendship between Caitlin Clark and Kate Martin. These two have been through it all together, from their days at Iowa to now being on opposite sides of the court in the WNBA. It's a bond that's rare in the league, and it makes their matchups even more special. Let's rewind to May 25th, when Clark and Martin faced off for the first time as pros. The trash talk was on point, with Clark teasing Martin with, Man, she's not very good at basketball, is she? But beneath the banter, there's deep respect and a shared journey. They've come a long way from Iowa, where they led the Hawkeyes to back-to-back -back Final Fours. Now they're making their mark in the WNBA, and it's a beautiful thing to witness. She knows how to play with superstars. Long before her name was called in April, everyone knew Clark would make history as the number one pick, perhaps the most heralded rookie to ever join the league. Martin was in the crowd to support Clark. But when her name was called in the second round, pick number 18 overall to the two-time defending champion Aces, everyone was surprised. She may not have had the same hype as Clark, but she's proving her worth with every game. And for Clark, having Martin in the league is a blessing. It's really nice to have one of your best friends going through a similar experience, Martin shared. She knows exactly what I mean every time I say something. It's hard to talk to other friends about the WNBA because they just don't understand our jobs. The friendship and rivalry between Clark and Martin add another layer to their already compelling story. When they meet on the court, it's more than just a game. It's a showcase of their journey, their struggles and their triumphs. They're living a dream that started in the Midwest and is now playing out on the national stage. Clark might have had a tough game against the Aces, but if there's one thing we know about her, it's that she doesn't back down. She's a fighter, a game changer, and she's just getting started. In the world of WNBA, Caitlin Clark is a name you're going to hear a lot. Whether it's her breaking records, making all-star appearances, or sharing heartfelt moments with her best friend on the court, she's here to stay. The fever is real and it's spreading fast. Buckle up, folks. Caitlin Clark is just getting started and the ride is going to be one for the books. 
Also, the two-time WNBA champion coach was betting on everyone being so hyped about Clark, who, let's be real, is the all-time scoring queen of college basketball, that they'd overlook Martin, and that's how the Aces snagged her. Coach Hammond was on point when she said, Caitlin Clark is amazing. I love watching that kid, but you don't take one person and put their team in the final four. You've got to have other pieces. To me, Kate was the next most important piece. She knew how to impact a game without having all the plays called for her. On this team, I'm not calling plays for Kate Martin. She knows how to play with superstars. And those superstars, led by the two-time MVP Aja Wilson, have totally taken Martin under their wing. The Aces love to prank Martin, like that time they made her think they were leaving her behind at dinner, making her run after the team bus, and let's not forget Wilson making Martin deck out in head-to-toe Gamecocks gear for a preseason game, but it's not all jokes. There are sweet moments too, like when Wilson got Martin a cake and a tiara for her 24th birthday. The buzz around the WNBA? No one's having more fun in their rookie season than Martin. Caitlin Clark and Kate Martin. Different roles, same bond. Clark and Martin might be living their dream, but their roles are worlds apart. Clark is the star of the Indiana Fever, leading all rookies in points and assists, and constantly drawing double teams and media hype. Martin, on the other hand, is the quintessential role player coming off the bench, averaging 3.9 points and 2.2 rebounds in just under 16 minutes per game. Despite the craziness, they talk every day, usually through text. Whenever they get the chance, they hang out, often exploring new restaurants and indulging in different desserts. Even though basketball rules their lives, they try not to talk shop all the time. Martin feels for Clark, who's become so famous she can barely step out of her apartment without being recognized. Clark's every move on the court is scrutinized, which can be exhausting. Whenever one of them is down, the other is there with a pep talk. I've had my down moments and she's hyped me up, just like she did at Iowa, Martin said. I've never been in Caitlin's shoes and I never will be. She's on a completely different stage than me. But as much as I can be a listening ear and encourage her back, I try to do that. Following each other's success. Even though they try not to let basketball dominate their conversations, Clark and Martin keep close tabs on each other's games. Martin signed up for WNBA League Pass just to watch all of Clark's games. And Clark checks the box scores religiously to see how Martin is doing. They break down each other's performances and share tips, with Martin especially valuing Clark's advice, given her high basketball IQ. They also talk about their pregame outfits, staying on trend with the WNBA's latest fashion craze. In the end, it's not just about the numbers or the accolades, it's about the journey and the friendships forged along the way. As they continue to rise, one thing is certain, this is just the beginning of their incredible story. Do you want to know your 2024 WNBA All-Star Game roster featuring Caitlin Clark? If yes, just give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Now let's dive in. The final roster for the 2024 WNBA All-Star Game is out, and it's packed with star power. Caitlin Clark, Aaliyah Boston, and Angel Reese are just a few of the notable names ready to showcase their skills. This year's All-Star Game, set for July 20th in Phoenix, is bringing back a fan-favorite format. The WNBA All-Stars will face off against the USA Women's National Team, a setup we last saw in 2021 during the Tokyo Games. Back then, Team WNBA stunned Team USA with a 93-85 victory in Las Vegas. This year promises to be just as thrilling. Leading Team WNBA is none other than Caitlin Clark from the Indiana Fever. She's joined by fellow rookie sensation Angel Reese, the league's rebounding leader from the Chicago Sky. These two rookies have been making waves all season, and their inclusion in the all-star roster is well-deserved. Joining Clark and Reese are some of the league's finest. Indiana's Aaliyah Boston and Kelsey Mitchell, Connecticut's Dewana Bonner and Brianna Jones, Atlanta's Alicia Gray, LA Sparks Dearica Hamby, New York's Jonquel Jones, Minnesota's Kayla McBride, Dallas's Arike Ogunbowale, and Seattle's Anika Ogwumike. Each of these players has brought their A-game this season, making Team WNBA a formidable force. On the other side, leading the USA women's national team is the ever-dominant Aja Wilson, making her sixth WNBA All-Star appearance. This team is gearing up for the Paris Olympic Games, kicking off later in July, and the All-Star game is a perfect warm-up. Wilson is backed by an All-Star cast that includes Jackie Young, Kelsey Plum, and Chelsea Gray from the Aces, 
Alyssa Thomas from The Sun, Jewel Lloyd from The Storm, Brianna Stewart, and Sabrina Ionescu from The Liberty, Brittany Griner, Kalia Copper, and Diana Taurasi from The Mercury, and Nefessa Collier from The Lynx. With such a powerhouse lineup, the USA women's national team is set to put on a show. The all-star festivities don't end with the game on July 20th. The excitement kicks off on July 19th with a skills challenge and a three-point contest. These events are sure to highlight the incredible talent and competitive spirit of the league's best players. Get ready for an unforgettable all-star weekend filled with jaw-dropping plays, intense competition, and a celebration of the best talent in women's basketball. Don't miss a moment of this action-packed season. Subscribe to She Got Game and turn on notifications to catch every game, highlight, and story as Caitlin Clark and the Indiana Fever embark on their transformative journey in the WNBA. You'll get front row access to all the thrills, chills, and jaw-dropping skills. Stay tuned, because with players like Clark, Martin, Wilson, and Reese lighting up the court, the WNBA is hotter than ever. Thanks for watching, and remember, never forget to shoot your shot.